When we were doing our protein sparing modified fast, we struggled with coming up with different recipes and dishes that were high protein, low fat, low calorie, and tasted good. Boy, that was a challenge. But we rose to that challenge and we came up with a protein powder custard. And today, we're gonna share that recipe with you. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So like I was saying, we really struggled with coming up with different tasty recipes that were high protein with low to moderate fat. Because fat adds flavor. Yeah, and it really was a struggle. And we started looking around like, what could we use? We wanna add protein, so we started messing around with protein powders, and we came up with this custard. Now I do wanna start off with saying, we are going to use keto chow, which is basically a whey protein powder that has some vitamins and nutrients added into it. Yeah. What that means is you can use pretty much any whey protein powder. You don't have to use keto chow. You could use the Quest protein powders. You could use the, you know, like the different zero carb ones that you'll find online. I'll leave a link for a couple of them down below. You don't have to use keto chow. But we might as well use what we use. I mean, you could probably buy little packets of protein powder at the Dollar Tree right, right. now, but you know, do you know where your calcium's from? Yeah, and the other thing is, is we know the ingredients in Keto Chow, we know that they're good quality products. They also have lots of flavors, and this recipe is gonna work with any one of their sweet flavors. We yes. didn't really try it with a savory flavor. Chicken noodle pudding. But it will work with all of the sweet flavors. And here's the thing about this recipe. This is probably the easiest recipe that Rachel will ever make. It's so easy. Even Rachel can make it. And we have proved it because I've made it a couple times in our test batches to be like, is this too good to be true? Can we continue making this over and over again and we're getting the same result? This yep. wasn't an accident. Like we've actually got something this easy on our hands? Yeah, it's very easy to make. The only thing is, is you will have to cook this in a bain marais which is a hot water bath. A hot water bath. I just wanted to see if you were gonna know what that is. I was like, wait a second. What are you trying yes. to fool me with like the fancy cooking lingo? You'll have to cook it in a hot water bath. We tried over and over and over and over again to make this quickly in a microwave and it just never worked. And then we sort of stopped for a second and we were like, you know what? We don't get worried to share a ribs recipe with you guys because it takes longer than 30 seconds in the microwave. Right. So this is something that's really really delicious, very few ingredients, so it's gonna take you some time to make it, who cares? It's gonna take you time to cook it, not to make it. So let's start making it right now. Let's go over the ingredients. Four simple ingredients. I love it. Okay. We need some eggs. Okay. Are these ones happy? Actually, these are happy five eggs. ingredients, I believe. We need almond milk, but you can also use any other nut milk or just water, but we'll talk about that when we get to it. Yeah. We need some protein powder. Again, we're gonna just today use vanilla keto chow. Mm -hmm. This works really well with pistachio, with the lemon meringue, salted caramel, you name it. Vanilla is nice and easy, and you can even add other flavors to right. it. Right, I like this because you can change the flavor yourself, especially with like the OOO drops. Final ingredient, you need some sweetener. And we're gonna recommend that you use a liquid sweetener. Yes. You can use the powder, although I do, could not tell you the ratios other than I would say probably start off with about one and a half to two tablespoons of like a powdered erythritol, like Swerve. Don't use granular, it won't work right. No. But um, the reason that we're gonna tell you to use liquid is you won't be adding any total carbs to it. How nice is that? The one that we've been using the most is gonna be stevia. You can also use liquid monk fruit. 
or you can even use liquid sucralose. Uh, I'll leave a link for this down below, which is what keto chow is sweetened. Sweetener is optional. Teeny and you're going to go by, you know, however sweet you want to make it. Yeah. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, push that stuff off to the side because I have everything already measured out other than your keto chow. I love that about you. So we're going to use a blender. You can also use a stick blender, but you really do need to mix it. Blender, food processor, or a stick blender. Don't try to hand do this. No. Okay, are you doing this recipe? I'm totally doing it. Okay, first thing we're going to start off with. Two cups of liquid. Now, Something. I, what I'm going to tell you is I feel it tastes best with two cups of almond milk, hemp milk, macadamia nut milk, any milk that you want. Yes. It also tastes really good with half milk, half water. We have made it with two just, cups of straight water, water and you get the same exact consistency. Which we were shocked. Yeah. So... I like the way it tastes with two cups of almond milk, but you can do this with two cups of any liquid. Well, I wouldn't suggest lemonade or sweet tea or Obviously. coffee. Two cups of milk. I just like the fact that if you didn't have any kind of almond milk, you could still do it. You can still do it. Four eggs. These ones are happy. Now the eggs are going to serve for two things. Up your protein, and that will be the fat for your keto chow. So you don't need to add any butter. As a matter of fact, I tried making it by adding some butter. It tasted okay, but did not give us that custard consistency that we were looking Which for. Which I am super excited about because, I mean, we're, we're using the fancy eggs here, but you could use the ones that are 75 cents a dozen at Aldi. That's right. If you wanted to. Now we're gonna add some sweetener. I would tell you to start off low, and then you can always like use a little, little finger test with the liquid and say, hey, would I like it a little bit sweeter? I like it without any sweetener. Rachel wants sweetener in there. We're gonna go with a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of stevia. I'd start off with a half a teaspoon, which is what we have right here. We have even stirred in a drop or two after the fact. Yeah. If you don't like the sweetness, because of the fact it's liquid, it incorporates well. So while we're on the subject of sweetener, I wanna mention one thing, liquid sucralose very, 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 very sweet. You'll see this is a little bottle that I keep in my other room. I have it written on here. One drop is equal to one teaspoon of sugar. So you're looking at five drops of this equal to about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of stevia. So very, very little. It is very sweet. It's not lying. I've had this bottle for three years. Yeah. So it's that's how potent it is. You do not need a lot of liquid sucralose. There's no maltodextrin in this. It's concentrated sucralose mixed with water. Exactly. Okay. Last ingredient, one scoop of protein powder. We're again using vanilla. Make sure you pack it in. If you really want to have it right, you can weigh it out. What we do is just pack it in. How's that look? That looks pretty good. Ooh. Okay. Blend it up. Should you go faster? Not yet. You can go fast just for a couple seconds. The whole idea is just mix it up. Okay. Ready? Done. That part's done. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to make this. We're gonna take nine by 13 dish and we're gonna get some ramekins. These are eight ounce ramekins. I'll leave a link for them down below. We get them on Amazon. They're pretty inexpensive. It's like 20 bucks for eight of them. Now here's the thing I do not think that we emphasized. We made one serving of keto chow. Yep. So this can all be mine. Mm -hmm. All of this that we're making, six ramekins, and we'll talk a little bit later about why we're eating it this way. Yep. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're just going to fill the ramekins. Each one's going to get, if you want to measure it out exactly, five ounces of liquid. I'm just going to eyeball it. It is not going to puff up like you're making little souffles or no. anything where it goes over the top of It'll the It'll cook ramekin. up a little bit, but not much. But not like... You're going about halfway I'm depending on the ramekin. It, you know, it depends on how big your ramekin is. It's not a mug cake. 
I happen to think the ramekins are really good for making mug cakes now that you mentioned those. That's one of the reasons that we keep a lot of them. But sometimes I'm watching them as they cook and being like, oh my goodness, it's about to bubble over. Okay. Now, before we move on, I do want to say you do not have to make these in ramekins. You can make them in one big shallow dish, but it still has to go into a hot water bath. So you'd be looking at like some kind of a ceramic kind of souffle dish something that would fit inside of here. You're just going to have to increase your cooking time. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take some water, and I usually like to just take one out to do this, and you're going to fill the water up, fill the pan up halfway. You don't want it to come over the top of the ramekins because it will start bubbling over. Right. The idea of this is just to have an even cook. Into the oven, 350 degrees for 30 to 35 minutes. Here we go. So through the magic of television, we have completed the cooking process. Magic of television? We already had a set made. <laughs> I wanna say one thing about the cooking. Our oven doesn't cook evenly. I find the back actually uh, cooks a little bit slower in the front. So around the 25 minute mark, I usually go around, turn it around 180 degrees. But when I say 30 to 35 minutes for cooking, you wanna cook it until the center is firm but still a little jiggly, because when you take it out, it's gonna continue cooking a little bit more. Jiggly's always good. Once you take it out, remove them from the hot water bath, wait about 10 minutes, you can eat them warm, or you can put them in the refrigerator. Now, I actually like to eat them warm, but I love the fact if you're like me, and you always feel like your, your keto chow shake or your protein shake, you can down that way quickly, it's nice to have where you can eat it a little bit slower. It slows you down. I, I eat one, I put the rest of them in the refrigerator and I go back one after one in you know a small eating period, but right. still, I don't just hork it down so fast. So you can eat this as a dessert or like Rachel, as a complete meal, one at a time. We're gonna top this off with just a little bit of whipped cream. Why not? Here we go. Mm. It's so good. Perfect sweetness, perfect texture. I love it. Great as a dessert, great as a meal. Very quickly, let's go over the nutrition because this is what makes this so amazing. Each one of these cups, if you measure them out equally, mm -hmm. 76 calories, and this is using two cups of almond milk. Yeah. 76 calories, four grams of fat, nine grams of protein, 1.4 total carbs. One point what? 1.3 grams of fiber, which would make it 0.1 net carbs. And the carbs are coming from the almond milk, which is one, one carb per serving, and also the acacia gum, which is in the keto chow. If you eat all six. Which I will. 458 calories. Totally reasonable. 25 grams of fat, 52 grams of protein. 8.1 total carbs. Total for all of them. 7.7 .7 grams of fiber, making it 0.4 net carbs if you eat all six as a meal. I would yeah. not suggest eating one, waiting an hour, eating another one. You're gonna no. be spiking insulin. Eat it like Rachel does. Eat one, go back to the refrigerator, get another one to have like the sequential eating where you're taking your time to eat them. It is my new go-to instead of the keto chow ice cream in the bathtub because I can actually eat this outside of the bathtub. It's not too cold. Well, that is going to be our video for today. If you like different types of cooking videos like this, take a look at our recipe playlist, which you can find right down here. Also, make sure you check out our most recent video, which you can find by clicking right over there. But whether you like this or that, don't forget to do this. Hit the subscribe button so that you can be notified every single time we upload a new recipe video. Until next time. Bye. bye.